was this beautiful kelp forest with what I call the cathedral effect, with the sunlight streaming down through the canopy of giant kelp. You really felt like you were just flying through the forest. When you're looking up and you're just seeing just these rays of light coming through the kelp, it's just so calm and peaceful. I mean, that's, that's the bliss that you get from scuba diving here. The Reef Check Foundation was founded in 1996. In 2005, we started the California program. To collect scientific data with citizen scientists so that the state can make informed decisions about protecting our oceans. I was drawn to it because of the scientific methodology, the structured approach they're taking to gathering data. And I think that um, makes them stand out. Marine biology is sort of a hard thing to make it into a career and uh, this is a great way to be part of it. You get people with different missions and the way they use the ocean in different ways, but everyone just cares about getting good data. I had done enough scuba diving where I was really getting more and more curious about what I was seeing, and so I thought, hey, this is a perfect way to do that. The opportunity to dive where you have some specific tasks to undertake is an entirely different experience. When you have to think critically about what you're looking at and take note of things that uh, otherwise you would have just passed on by. You form a very special relationship with the environment, and I love that. We usually have a pretty rigorous dive briefing where we go over the, the scientific methods again. We kind of go through the species lists, remind people of what we need to look for. Fish, invertebrates, uh, algae, and then the substrate, we survey along what's called a transect. When we go out with a group of divers, they pair up and nobody paired. The person leading the layout of the tape usually is the one also identifying the fish. The person coming behind us counting the invertebrates. And ideally, you can wind up the tape and end the dive before you run out of air. The only requirement that we have is that you're an experienced scuba diver. And then we'll train you during a two weekend long training how to identify and count the indicator species that we monitor on California's reefs. The practical training we actually went in the ocean was valuable to me because I realized that just seeing the, the picture of something doesn't really convey to you how that organism actually looks and behaves in the water. I think the hardest part is the training. And once you've done that, it's just smooth sailing. It's so flexible. You can sign up for as many services you want or as few as you want. During the dive season, we have a survey about every other weekend. Sometimes I'll get lucky and my schedule really allows me to get involved in most of the major surveys, especially the boat surveys. I didn't know anyone in Reef Check before I did it. And I've already made friends that, you know, I dive with outside of Reef Check just because people are so friendly. We're all very helpful to one another. We have a good time with it. People who otherwise you might not interact with, here you have a chance to actually share some time with them and get to know them. We've checked volunteers are more than, than just a data counter. They, they really learn a lot about the marine environment and they become part of a community that cares and that does something about it. One volunteer can make a huge difference. All that data is going to get used by the state to look at, at the ocean and the health of our reefs. You see all this data online or in news articles or magazines and you feel like, I'm part of that.